एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम arc welding is one of the basic process of joining in industry arc welding process has a certain variants and we will be learning about the variants of arc welding process in this video this is the second part of the video of arc welding process welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia this is the second part of the video in which we will be learning about the different variants of the arc welding process in the first part of the video we have learned about the basic arc welding process if you haven't watched the first part of this video you can click the link in the description box for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below this is the second part of the video uh, which is the arc welding process and in this part we will be learning about the different variants of the arc welding process in the arc welding process i have told you that we have connections of the electrode and the workpiece generally we have direct current electrode negative uh, combination of the arc welding process in which the heat uh, would be liberated at the anode and the workpiece would be heated uh, at a very faster pace when both the connections are made in between the electrode and the workpiece what happens the flow of electrons uh, would be there in between the two and the heat is related uh, released because of that heat the melting of the workpiece would take place and ultimately the two uh parts that have been melted are being joined together so let's start with the variants of arc welding processes in the previous part you have seen that the electrode would be uh, momentarily striked on the surface of the workpiece and the flow of electrons would be there in between the in between the uh, the gap which is uh, there in between the workpiece and the electrode now what happens the first variant that we'll be seeing here is the shielded metal arc welding in the shielded metal arc welding what happens it is somewhat similar to the basic arc welding process but here what happens you have the electrode which is having a heavy coating so there is a heavy coating on the surface of electrode when the electrons are released from the surface of this electrode because of the combination or because of the connection which is completed because of that particular action that we have already seen so what happens here uh, the electrode would be melted and it would be uh, it would react with the heat which is already there on the surface because of the reaction with the heat it would produce a shield on the surface and that shield is the protective shield which is there on the surface of the workpiece which is to be welded so what happens the consumable electrode that we have is having a coating on its outer surface and which on melting releases the gases and those gases are like hydrogen carbon dioxide or Uh, other inert gases and that that would form a pool uh, that would form a protective covering around that weld pool so here this electrode coating also reacts with the slag which is liquid so this electrode coating it uh, reacts and ultimately it forms the slag part and that slag is liquid so it ultimately uh, moves to the upper surface of the base metal uh, by the general process and then the the weld deposition uh, will be there the slag part will be above that weld which is being prepared so ultimately it will uh, be acting as a protective layer to the 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 surface of the weld that is being prepared so the slag generally rises to the surface and when the solidification occurs it forms a protective layer over the hot metal so we we discussed about the slag formation uh, by this uh, part so in the slag formation what happens the 
electrode coating would be melted and because of that melting the layer of slag will be produced on the surface of the base metal in the liquid state and it moves upwards then ultimately when it gets solidified it would act as a layer which is a protective layer to that molten weld metal which is uh, already there as a part of that weld. Now this basically slows down the rate of cooling of the weld and the slag layer that is being produced on the surface would be removed with the help of light chipping with the help of a chipping hammer and ultimately this process is called as a variant of electric arc welding because in this process there is a kind of shielding or a protective layer on the surface of the weld pool that's why this process is called as shielded metal arc welding so it is an arc welding process but here th the shielding is being provided with the help of those gases which is released because of the uh, melting of the electrode with the help of the heat that's why this process is called as a shielded metal arc welding so the first uh, variant that we have seen of the arc welding process is the shielded metal arc welding before moving to the next variant of the arc welding process let us see this uh, process with the help of a video the video that you, you are seeing on the screen is of the shielded metal arc welding in which the operator is touching the workpiece with the help of electrode so that a momentarily touching of the electrode with the workpiece would be uh, able to create a connection between the two and the electrons would be released from the surface of the electrode and ultimately the electrode when uh, reacts with the heat it produced it produces shielding on the surface and produces a weld pool and that weld pool is protected with the help of the slag layer which is formed on the surface. The next variant of the arc welding process is the submerged arc welding. As the name suggests that the arc is submerged under something. So what is that something? Let's look at the concept. In the submerged arc welding process, what happens? There is a continuous arc welding operation. And uh, in that particular operation, we use a consumable electrode. That consumable electrode is basically bare electrode. That means it do not have any coating. So what do we do? We have a bare wire which is there in the form of a coil and we feed in the flux into that welding zone. So whenever we want a continuous type of welding process in this, we majorly use this submerged arc welding in which we have the wire which is continuously fed inside that area and also we uh, have to feed in the flux on the surface of this welding zone. So let us look at the diagram of the same. Here you can see that there is a wire which is the electrode and that wire is majorly the bare wire. It do not have any coating. These two rollers would be helpful in uh, feeding in the wire inside that zone. And in addition to that, there is a welding flux which is being supplied with the help of this hopper. And the connections are similar. The positive terminal is connected to this electrode and the negative terminal is connected to the weld metal. And when this momentarily touches the surface, the arc will be created. And because of that arc, the heat would be generated and that heat is capable to melt that metal and create that weld metal pool. In between the two, the welding flux is being inserted and that welding flux when, when burnt leads to the formation of the slag and that slag would be in the form of a liquid when it gets uh, uh, that liquid when rises up, it rises above that molten metal pool and when it gets solidifies, it leads to the formation of that protective layer and that protective layer of the slag can be removed with the help of the chipping hammer. The same process which is there in the arc welding process, it is almost similar. But the only thing is this process is used for the continuous uh, welding operations. And here you have the wire which is continuously fed with the help of this mechanism. And additionally, uh, the flux is being supplied with the help of the hopper. All the connections and other aspects remains the same as in the case of the arc welding process. Now let us look at the, the third variant of this arc welding process which is 
द जी एम ए डब्ल्यू जी एम ए डब्ल्यू इज गैस मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग और मिग वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस इन द गैस मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस देर इज अ शील्डिंग एरिया and that shielding is being provided with the help of inert gases those inert gases are argon helium carbon dioxide or any other inert gas which is suitable for the process now in this uh, case also we want a continuous type of welding process in this situation uh, because the arc is coming continuously in contact with the uh, the open environment so there can be a defect which can be produced on the surface so in order to avoid that defect or in order to avoid any sort of contamination an inert environment is provided in between the arc and the weld metal so for that a shielding of that shielding gas or the inert gas is being provided so let us look at uh, the the basic schematic of the gmaw process in this you can see that you have an inert gas regulator uh, sorry inert gas cylinder which is connected with the help of regulator so that the pressure is being maintained of uh, the gas which is coming out that particular uh, cylinder is connected to this welding gun and uh, this welding gun is having one terminal which is for the connection for that gas which is which will be acting as a shielding gas the second uh, connection that you can see here is of the wire which would be acting as the electrode and that electrode i have told you is continuously fed into the surface so you can see that there are the rollers and in between the rollers there is a wire which is being fed with the help of the wire spool so from the wire spool the wire is fed into the electrode into that welding gun and the third terminal is connected to the power source so that the ultimate connection is being maintained one terminal of the power source is connected to the electrode gun or the welding gun and the other terminal is connected to the workpiece when this electrode momentarily touch the surface then what happens the arc will be generated and a gap is maintained then and because of maintaining that gap the continuous movement of the electrons is possible and because of that movement of electrons the heat is generated so this is the basic idea the basic uh, schematic of the gmaw process in this uh, you will observe a, a good quality weld as compared to the basic arc welding process and this is majorly applicable in industry where the continuous welding process is required now let us look at uh, the description of this gmaw process or the mig welding process with the help of the video the video that you are seeing on the screen is of the basic gmaw process in which the operator is having the electrode gun or the welding gun in his hand and the wire is continuously moving out from the surface and you can also see the arc which is being created with the help of uh, the connection which is there in between the wire and the workpiece now let us come to the next and the last variant of this arc welding process which is gtaw which is gas tungsten arc welding process it is also called as the tig welding or tungsten inert gas arc welding in this uh, as the name suggests there is tungsten involved and this tungsten is basically a non consumable electrode so here you can see that uh, we are using tungsten and that tungsten is a kind of a non consumable electrode if i compare it with the mig welding process in the mig welding we have the electrode which is generally consumed in the process but here in the tig welding process we uh, have the non consumable electrode and here also we provide shielding and that shielding is being provided with the help of inert gas over that weld pool or the weld area you can see in the diagram that uh, this process also have inert gas supply and that inert gas supply is being connected with the help of the tungsten electrode the gas is being supplied inside that tungsten electrode and one connection is there is there with the dc power source and another connection of the dc power source is there with the uh, 
with the workpiece. So there are two connections as you have already seen in the other processes and both the connections are uh, connected with the power source. So here you have either you can use a DC power source or the AC power source but primarily we use a DC power source here. And uh, the shielding is provided inside this uh, tungsten electrode so that the weld pool is protected against the contamination of the outside environment. So you can see that the tungsten electrode is capable of producing the arc and because of that arc the heat will be produced. So because of this connection when these two come in contact with each other maybe by primarily touching with each other uh, and maintaining a particular gap. So there would be a formation of that arc which is uh, already there in the arc welding process and uh, when this operator moves his hand to the certain distance, so melting continues on the surface. In addition to the melting, the shielding gas is also provided with the help of this cylinder so that any contamination is prevented and ultimately uh, you have to insert some material inside. So here we are not consuming this material from this tungsten electrode, rather we are uh, using it for heating. Here we will be using a filler rod and that filler rod will be melted when it comes in uh, contact with that welding zone or the region. So what happens this electrode also melts and it forms a layer over the surface of this workpiece and ultimately there would be a slag layer which is formed because of the burning of that flux which is there inside that filler rod. So ultimately a weld pool is created which is the molten region and the slag which is the liquid uh, metal uh, that flows upwards and also creates a protective layer on the surface of this weld pool. So the, the basic process uh, is similar but the operations are different. Here the operation says that you have a tungsten electrode which is in connection with the workpiece and it would be non-consumable and here you will be using a filler rod because of that filler rod uh, the slag formation will occur and it would create a good quality joint. The process that you are seeing on the board is tungsten inert gas arc welding process in which you can see that the operator is having a gun in his hand and he is joining the, the two parent materials and ultimately the shielding is provided so that the, uh, the, the weld pool remains protected. With this we come to the end of the second part of this video. Uh, wherein we learnt about the variants of the arc welding process. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.